Today we're going to be talking about how to properly store your EcoFlow devices. That way you can go ahead and stay, make sure that you're under your warranty for the five years or whatever that might be, and also to maintain your battery properly. So we're gonna go through all those steps, what you need to know to make sure you properly store them. Let's get started. So the first thing you need to know is what temperature, where you can actually go ahead and put your EcoFlow devices. Now, EcoFlow does suggest storing these batteries here in an environment between 20 and 30 degrees Celsius. So that's between 68 degrees and 86 degrees Fahrenheit for you. That's where you're gonna go ahead and store these right here away. You really don't wanna store them in a super cold environment. So maybe a garage and things like that might not work, especially if it's like an exterior garage. Uh, with it basements might be okay uh, just go ahead and make sure that your temperatures are around that area now they also said you also need to look at your battery capacity what percentage you're actually storing this in now they do want you to go ahead and store this here at 60 percent of the battery and the thing is you also have to maintain this too so it's not just setting up at 60 percent and then you're done and you're good to go no every three Yay! months you actually have to drain this battery down because you want to go ahead and drain this down to 30% of the battery every, I know, right? Every three months. And then you're going to go ahead and charge it back up again to the 60%. And then you're going to be good for another three to six months. You want to keep doing that over and over and over again. So about every quarter, every three months, you're going to go through this kind of like maintenance kind of thing with it. And this is going to help you maintain that. Now, there is a really, really cool feature with the EcoFlow app that I'm gonna show you guys real quick. They can actually have it set up to where it can go help you drain it to 30% and also help you uh, increase the battery to 60%. Uh, it kind of gives you like, okay, I can run something off that and forget it. I can charge it up and kind of forget it. And then, you know, you're gonna be good to go. So let's jump on my phone here real quick and I'm gonna show you guys how to go ahead and do that app. By the way, the app is free, so make sure you guys go grab it. Okay, so now we're in my EcoFlow app real quick. We're going to do the River 2 as an example here. And the really cool thing about the app, it does show you your, your watts pulling in, your watts going out. But that's not all because you can configure it by hitting this little, little cog wheel at the top here for you. And if you scroll down under battery, you're going to find where it says charge and discharge limit. So if you go in here, you can actually go ahead and set your charge limit to that 60% that we talked about. So when you go and charge it up, it's not going to go above 60%. It's automatically going to stop right there for you. On your discharge limit, same thing. If we change this here from zero, we can actually go to 30% now. And then you can go ahead and run things like a heater or whatever it might be able to run off of it or a TV until it hits that 30% mark. And it's automatically going to shut it off uh, for you. So now we have our 30 to 60% marks. Now we're pretty much good to go. We just kind of go back here and it's going to go ahead and save it for us uh, within the app. Now every three months, we just kind of drain it down. We plug it into the wall outlet, our solar panels, and then we can go ahead and you know charge it back up to that 6% and then we're good to go for another three months. But that's how you're gonna properly store your EcoFlow batteries. And I hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like the video and check out this video over here as well. And I'll see you guys on the next one.